Swipe Up, episode 223, the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts and on the latest news and entertainment updates. I'm your host, Ray Taylor. Is Alec Baldwin to blame for uh, Helena Hutchins' death? Uh, um, so under New Mexico law, Baldwin could face up to 18 months in prison if trial jury finds that he acted, quote unquote, without due caution or circumspection uh when he pointed the replica vintage uh pieta colt 45 caliber revolver at hutchins during a setup of a camera angle in october uh it's crazy that that was only back in october it seems like that was longer ago but um you know kind of a crazy situation Right, they're filming this movie. Alec Baldwin, I believe, not only an actor who pulled the trigger, but also I want to say he's a producer on the film too, which I believe is probably one of the reasons why him and the armorman, the person who's actually in charge of making sure the weapons on set aren't live, aren't hot, uh, are both being charged with... Um, manslaughter um prosecutors will determine whether baldwin is responsible for hutchinson's death uh, by evaluating whether he should have known of the danger involved when he pointed the loaded gun at hutchinson or quote acted with a willful disregard for the safety of others under new mexico's involuntary manslaughter laws baldwin could face up to five years in prison if a jury finds criminal negligence in his accidental firing of the vintage Colt revolver, Baldwin's attorney, Luke Nikas, claims the actor relied on the professionals whom he worked with who assured him that the gun had no live rounds. Baldwin has previously stated that this is not his duty as an actor to ensure the pistol was not loaded with live ammunition which is generally banned on movie sets the assistant director dave halls has agreed to plead guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon and had told baldwin that the gun was cold meaning that had been checked to make sure that there was no live rounds baldwin has said that it was hutchinson who told him to point the gun at her as she was plotting a camera angle in a church at a ranch outside Santa Fe. Uh, District Attorney Mary Carmack Altweiss is filing charges against both Baldwin and his film set armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed by the end of the month. Baldwin may face up to 18 months in prison if convicted under the lesser charge and up to five years in prison if convicted under the greater negligence charge. Uh, Baldwin is also facing a civil lawsuit, makes sense, uh, accusing him of negligence for shooting Hutchinson's Rust director uh, and Rust director Joel Suez, who was also injured in the incident. Um, I mean, definitely a crazy situation. One, when it comes to movies, right, movie magic, a lot of fake things happen in movies, right? When they were filming Apollo 13, they didn't go to outer space, right? When they're filming Star Trek, the the Enterprise is not an actual ship, right? When when they film Star Wars, they're not actually using uh, laser swords. But for whatever reason, movies are still using guns that can fire bullets right the only thing a gun does the only function of a gun is to fire a bullet with the intent of ending life that is why guns exist that's why they were invented that's why people buy them they whether they're going to hunt or whether they have this idea of they're going to protect themselves the function of a gun is to end a life and in a business that is all make-believe the idea of movie magic 
is a term that you know replies to how movies are able to create things that look like they're real but they're not so the fact that a movie would be using or any movie for that matter would be using a gun that can actually fire a bullet even though this is a replica gun clearly is still able to function in a way that will shoot a bullet is absolutely absurd that there would need to be that level the only authentic thing to be used on a movie set for that one only one and only authentic thing to be a gun that is able to fire a bullet is absurd so the fact that there were actual guns that can actually fire bullets involved at all is ridiculous, right? No reason, no reason. There's no reason to have a functional gun on a movie, in a movie, right? Because they're not in movies. They're not actually, they're shooting blanks, right? So I, I get that, right? Oh, you kind of get some of the sound. You kind of get some of the the feeling of what, but it's all make-believe. It's all make-believe. They don't have to. You don't have to be method when it comes to firearms. Right? It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So the fact that movies, which I think, especially after this issue, I think there's a lot of studios probably not using guns that can actually fire bullets anymore. Right? Which makes sense. You can do all of that stuff in post. There is absolutely no reason, absolutely no reason to have a functional weapon anywhere, let alone in a place where everything is make-believe. The last place you should have a device that is specifically designed and invented to end life to have that device on a set. So that is one thing. Also, apparently... When this first thing happened, they, the crew was out shooting these guns, like playing around, doing target practice or whatever. And apparently that's where the mix-up came, right? They were playing around. They didn't take the real bullets out and put the blanks in. It's, you know, there is a, a level of negligence there. To be playing around, clearly at one point, knowingly putting live rounds in a gun that is going to be used in a movie stupid i believe the only reason baldwin is is i mean obviously he's the one that pulled the trigger but i think the reason why not just because he's an actor it's not his responsibility but i would imagine as a producer he holds some responsibility a producer of a movie is one of the people in charge of the movie as far as i don't know the actual structural business hierarchy of movie production but i would imagine that's another reason why he is part of this lawsuit in addition to the fact that he's the one that actually pulled the trigger but it's a tragedy and i remember when i was a kid when brandon lee bruce lee's son in filming the crow crow 2 the first crow i don't know which one it was but it was a similar situation where there was a live round in one of the guns and he died. It's just ridiculous. It's re I mean, we live in a time where it's so blatant that guns are, are something that a lot of humans aren't equipped or, or should have. Especially considering how effortless the human mind can be damaged. And to make somebody who seemingly has a good head on their shoulders can turn them into somebody who's desperate somebody who's broken, somebody who will use this tool for its one and only purpose to shoot in order to end a life. And I think America has really shown that humans should not be allowed to have these tools around, right? I, I think that all the other developed countries in the world have figured this out a long time ago and the stubbornness and the delusion that is involved in the day-to-day -day thinking of so many Americans is they have this obsession with this tool 
that is being used for what it was invented for, what it's used for, this tool is being used for what it was created to be used for on all kinds of people, all kinds of innocent people, not just directors who are trying to set up a camera angle in a church, but children who are going to school, people like recently there was a a shooting at a, a park in L.A., celebrating the Lunar New Year, 11 people dead, mass shootings happening daily, if not more, in this country, like proving every single day how inequipped humans are to have that kind of power at their disposal. So, I don't know. Like, I feel bad that... He, I first off feel bad that this woman is no longer alive, right? Shouldn't shouldn't have happened. The movies, these things of make believe, have no reason, right? They, even in movies, they they don't even drive cars in most movies. Most cars are on like dollies. Like there's so like it's so ridiculous that there's a need for a functional firearm. To be used in a movie. And to have an accident happen. I mean. I don't like when people point toy guns at me. Now I've had a real gun. Pointed at my forehead. During a a robbery. While working at a video store. In my 20s. So when I see a thing that looks like a gun. Pointed at me kind of brings me back to a time I wish I didn't have to, you know, didn't have to experience. Even even toy guns. I don't care. Like, even if it's like a Nerf gun that's painted to look like a gun, even if it's a plastic gun that doesn't shoot anything, the visual of having it pointed at you is not something that I like. It's, it's not something that I prefer to happen to see something that looks like a weapon designed to end life pointed at me. And for somebody who knows that this thing shoots real bullets, Alec Baldwin knew it. They were playing around with these guns, shooting targets, shooting bottles off of fences or whatever. Right? You have to... Even though you have an armorman saying you're good to go, to just blindly go along with somebody's word, you know, is, I mean, you're putting, you're assuming a lot of trust in one person and humans make mistakes all the time, especially if something that is has the potential to kill people, right? You have this thing that you know can shoot real bullets and you're going to not only point it, what did he pull the trigger for? What does he need to pull the trigger for if she's setting up a camera shot? What was the purpose of pulling the trigger? It wasn't for a take. It, what they needed to see the how the light would look with his finger moving. Obviously there's details of the case that I don't know. I don't know the case that's being argued. Clearly there's enough there for him to be charged. Right? And it's not like he's a poor kid who's being harassed by the police or something. Baldwin's got money. So he's probably got a good lawyer. You know, and he's still being charged with this thing. Hasn't been able to. There's no deals being struck, you know. So there must be evidence that is enough to charge him and the armorman. I mean, obviously the person who's responsible for the gun and responsible to make sure there's no live rounds, 100% that person is responsible, right, is, is to blame. Alec Baldwin, definitely you hold some blame. You you literally pulled the trigger. You were the one that pulled the trigger. Just like 
I mean, he, I'm sure, already feels horrible. He killed somebody. Not intentionally, but he did an action that led to the death, the direct action that led to the direct death of somebody else. So, you know, I don't know. It sucks. It sucks. But it never should. Like, the guns are just f- ridiculous. It is ridiculous that, that like, there this worship of guns and this, like, need to have functional guns around. It's just so stupid. People are so stupid. People are can easily, just in an instant, your mental health can just take a plummet. One event in your life can happen. And somebody who is normal, safe, and of sound mind and body can absolutely change. And they could want destruction. And to have a tool that can easily end a life by the curling of your finger. Like, human life should be worth more than somebody's ability to do this. To move your index finger an inch. Right? Little babies have the physical capability to end a life using a gun. That's how so much power a gun gives a person. And to assume people are going to follow the right procedures and safety precautions is absurd. It is absurd. There's no proof that humans should be held given that kind of responsibility. They've never proven themselves to be responsible enough. I don't care how many of these gun nuts are out there saying that they follow their procedures, they're not going to do these things, they keep their things locked up, they know all the training, they trained everybody. I don't care. One event can happen in a person's life and change everything. So, anyway, the story, I feel there's no happy ending to this story, but that's the update. <laughs> he might, Alec Baldwin might go to prison. And if he goes to prison, it's not like he's going hard time, right? He's going to get rich people don't go to the same prisons, even if they commit murder. Chances are he's not I like I'm sure he's not going to face anything. And the actors guild apparently is backing him, too, because, you know, it's not his job as an actor, you know, the actors union or whatever. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that story, but that's the update. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.